10 Things Fans Should Know About WWE NXT Star Gigi Dolan Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh My name is Suhaib and you are watching Wrestling Fact Gigi Dolan has taken NXT by storm alongside her toxic attraction stablemates These are things WWE fans should know about Dolan In September 2021 WWE NXT went under a massive overhaul to once again be seen as developmental after moving to Tuesday nights. In the time since, a number of new stars have broken out with the likes of Mandy Rose, Nikita Lyons, Braun Breaker, and Carmelo Hayes being some of the standouts. Within the past year, Gigi Dolan has taken NXT by storm alongside her toxic attraction stablemates. With the three women serving as the current top stars in the women's division within WWE's developmental show. For those wanting to learn more about the former NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, there is plenty to learn about. Let's start with number 10. She is a former reality TV star. After leaving school at the age of 12, Gigi Dolan would take part in the reality series My Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding. With her being 14 at the time of the show's taping, she would be featured as one of the girls looking for a husband on the show. With it possibly being controversial due to her young age, the show would also face other controversies. Having began in Britain, the American version of the show would also garner criticism from Romani Americans suggesting that show offered a stereotypical presentation of Romani culture. As for Dolan, she would state that her original persona in wrestling was based on the show, though nowadays, she has modeled herself off of the supernatural succubus. Number 9 She began wrestling in 2015. Moving on from her brief journey as a reality television star, Gigi Dolan, a.k.a. Hell's Favorite Harlot, would make her wrestling debut in 2015 on the independent scene. Wrestling other up-and-coming women's wrestling stars like Penelope Ford, Kira Hogan, Leva Bates, Chelsea Green, and Diana Purrazzo. Gigi would wrestle under the name of Priscilla Kelly before her time in WWE. Despite only being in the business for a few years, she has found success across the independent wrestling scene, and having wrestling overseas, as well as briefly for who? Gigi Dolan has now become a staple of the WWE NXT brand. Number 8 She made her first WWE appearance in 2018. Before signing with the company officially, Gigi Dolan would partake in the 2018 edition of WWE's May Young Classic an all-female tournament featuring talent from inside and outside of the company. Appearing in the tournament, this would serve as a preview for NXT fans as it would be another three years before she would become Gigi Dolan. With her short experience in 2018, wrestling as Priscilla Kelly, she would lose in the first round during a match against future knockouts champion, Diana Purrazzo. Despite taking part in the tournament, it seems many fans have already forgotten that she did. Number 7 She is only 25 years old. With WWE NXT once again serving the role of developmental for WWE, a lot of the current roster is on the more youthful side of things. Looking at Gigi Dolan, the orange-haired superstar is only 25 years old. Compared to her toxic attraction stablemates, while Gigi is only 25 years old, just see Jane is 26 years old, while their leader, Mandy Rose is 32 years old. Following recent developments on the show, with Sonya Deville now tied to the faction, she is 29, meaning the entire group is on the younger side. Number 6 Gigi is already a two-time tag team champion. Coming as a bit of a shock, Despite Toxic Attraction only forming in September 2021, the group has already become one of the most successful factions in NXT history. With Mandy Rose more than likely to hit one year as NXT Women's Champion, she will be a historic champion for the brand. As for the tag team unit of Toxic Attraction, just see Jane and Gigi Dolan have also found great success, 
with the two women being two-time NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. As fans now await for the faction's arrival on the main roster, one can only assume that Gigi and Jesse will win the WWE Women's Tag Team titles in time. Number 5 She was married to Uz Darby Allin. Following her stint on My Big Fat American Gypsy Wedding, Gigi Dolan would actually get married, but not to someone from the show. In 2018, she and Futuro star, Darby Lynn, would tie the knot and become married. Two years after their marriage, Dolan would announce that she and Darby Lynn were officially getting a divorce in August 2020. Despite separating, she would confirm that the two are still close friends during an interview with Vicky Guerrero, and they have even been spotted hanging out together since then. Number 4 From 2018 to 2019, she wrestled in Japan. While she would compete in the 2018 May Young Classic years before arriving in WWE NXT, the future Gigi Dolan would also wrestle abroad. From 2018 to 2019, while performing under her Priscilla Kelly moniker, she would travel to Japan to work in the Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling promotion, wrestling against the likes of Maki Ito and Miyu Yamashita, who fans may know from Wu, the young women's wrestling star would also wrestle in DDT, where she would team alongside Ethan Page and Mike Bailey. This would be a short portion of her career, though it would help her gain more experience in the ring while in another part of the world. Number 3 Her tampon spot mad or go viral Gaining a large amount of fame in late 2018, the future Gigi Dolan would get a large spotlight placed upon her career following a street fight on the independent scene. During the match, she would pull a stunt involving a tampon. Following the spot, wrestlers from all over the world would either speak out against her in support of the young star, with names such as Gail Kim, Jim Ross, and Tessa Blanchard reacting negatively while by Sky, Tommy Dreamer, and Taz would support Priscilla following the incident. Whether or not fans liked it, it would raise her stock and named value, with her wrestling for a year later and signing with WWE in 2021. Number 2 She competed at All Out Before Rue would debut on television in October 2019, the company would present one more PPV, All Out. Taking place on Labor Day weekend, who would delight fans with a massive PPV that saw Chris Jericho become the first ever world champion in a match against future champion, Hangman Adam Page. Elsewhere, the Women's Casino Battle Royal would take place, with Priscilla Kelly taking part as a surprise entrant. This would be one of two major matches that Kelly would wrestle for who, with the second match being a singles bout against Britt Baker the following year. Number 1 She wrestled Britt Baker on the Jericho Crossy. In early 2020, the Dynamite would shoot an episode on the Jericho Cruise, where famously, Hangman Page and Kenny Omega would capture the U-World Tag Team Championship from Frankie Kazarian and Scorpio Sky of Skew. Also on the cruise, another match would take place that some fans may have forgotten. Future Women's World Champion Britt Baker would face off against Priscilla Kelly, who was a rising star in free agency at the time. Wrestling into All Out months prior, this match showed that she was still on the radar. Baker would win, with it being Kelly's final appearance in it before signing with WWE a year later. So this was the video. If you like it do subscribe side to the subscribe button click the bell icon so you don't miss any of my video. Thanks for watching see you guys in my next video.